Attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey guys, how's it going? Nice to talk to you with you today. Um, yes, this is Todd Walters, Platinum Coach, Craig Proctor, Real Estate Coaching. And as you know, the second Tuesday, I believe it is, of every month, we do for Platinum members and their teams, anyone that's responsible for calling back the leads, okay, we do a training webinar on advanced lead conversion. Okay, so again, this is for Platinum members, their, their teams, people on the team here that's responsible for calling back the leads. Okay, so on today's webinar, uh, I wanna, I'm not going to take up a lot of your time today. Okay, so let me get that out of the way first so everybody can relax and pay close attention. I want to spend some time on follow-up uh, from the sense of following up with leads that you're generating from your IDX platforms. Okay, specifically, I'm going to be drilling down on leads that come in from a Craig Proctor's Millionaire Agent, which is powered by Commission Z. So CP Millionaire Agent is the platform that Commission Z powers for Platinum Program members. That is the all-encompassing complete operations system, okay, and lead generation platform, okay, and, uh, and it's available. Um, for Platinum members exclusively, okay? We did a, did a webinar on it recently, and, you know, there's a lot going on with it, so you want to, uh, if you don't have it, want to ask about it. If you don't know about it, find out about it. But anyway, so I want to drill down specifically today on this webinar because I'm going to record it, and I'm going to have it in the can for future generations of people coming into our system uh, to be able to use and leverage on exactly how to approach these leads. Okay. Now, when I say these leads, we're talking primarily about leads that are generated from online marketing. Okay. So I want you to think about this. Your CP millionaire agent system. Okay. Your powered by Commissions Inc. is a bucket. It's a plate. It's a platform. Okay. And then leads. So in other words, it's an operating system. And then leads filter into it. You drive leads and you put them into your contact management system. Mostly they come in automatically. So if our tech team over at Sync is powering some of your ad spend for pay-per-click marketing, okay, using Google, Yahoo, and other Facebook and other places, and you're getting leads um, from these ads, here's what we know about those leads. They're not expecting your call. So when you generate leads, making them an offer to search homes on the internet themselves or to get a free list of homes, okay, Number one, they don't know it's coming from a real estate agent. It's not obvious anyway that it is. And then secondly, they are not expecting a callback from you and your team. Okay, so everybody gets that. Everybody understands that. All right, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. What we want to know is we want to know, hey, is this somebody who's considering making a move? So based on what we're offering here online through these ads, okay, based on what we're offering, we think that they are interested in making a move. Okay, so let me um, let me pull up my uh, let me pull up Google Chrome. I think I can get that to show up here on this webinar feed. All right, so I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to walk through something for you because I think it'll better help me help you as we get into this script and talk about just some basics of doing a good job here. So uh, I'm on Google, so I'm going to go Google. All right. So here we go. Okay, let's go to um, uh, Brick Homes for Sale in 30067 zip code. Okay, so you'll notice here um, add, add. What happened? Oh, sorry. You'll notice add, 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 add. See that? some generic searches. The number two ad right here actually happens to be um, one of our members, okay, in the Atlanta area that uses the CP Millionaire Agent System powered by Commissions Inc. Housesatlanta.net is their URL. So tech guys over there that help Platinum members, the Commissions Inc, have um, met with and interviewed this member 
somebody like you, gotten a profile from them and taking those words that describe the kind of prospect that they want and plumbed them into ads that you know we've ran for many, many years. So, so these ads, very effective, and this ad shows up here along with the keywords that represent what it is the prospect's looking for. You can see I typed in Brick Homes for Sale in 30067. This ad out here represents, you know, kind of what I'm looking for. I've got a couple options here. So, and um, so I click on that ad. It's going to take me to, uh, you know, the platform for housesatlanta.net, something that represents or a property search that represents what I'm looking for. Okay. Let's see if I can stretch this out a little bit. There's the property search. So, everybody on this webinar, is familiar with this process, right? So uh, the lead clicks on properties, they end up registering on your property search site. So we get that. Okay, good. There's no indication from any of that process that the prospect is expecting me to call them, is expecting you to call them, they don't have any idea real estate, you're just going to call them. You know, it's okay. But they have identified themselves as someone who's looking for homes for sale. Okay? That doesn't mean that they put in there 100% of the correct information, okay? Um, they had to put in a valid email address and a valid phone number, but it didn't have to be theirs, okay? They could have made it up. But overwhelmingly, the majority of people that are using the property, um, this property search site, are putting in good contact information, the majority, overwhelmingly, okay? No problem. So we can all agree that these folks are interested in making a move or at least thinking about it. Okay, now, the majority of the prospects that are generated from online marketing, listen really close, as a rule, the majority of prospects that are generated from online marketing this way, uh, the majority of the leads are not ready to buy a home today. Majority, more than 50%, are a little earlier in the process than farther along in the process. You're absolutely going to talk to some prospects that are ready to buy today, and but the majority of the people you're going to talk to are going to be way earlier in the process. Okay? So because of these two things, number one, they're not readily expecting your call, and number two, uh, they're mostly not ready to buy today, but they are considering making a move, okay? They're just a little earlier in the process. Because of those two things, your skill level at calling back the leads matters, okay? And when I say it matters, it matters. Follow-up is everything here, everything, okay? So let's step into this. If you go to our coaching site and you go to the library and you click on file library, okay, specifically we get to Platinum Follow-Up Systems Library. Click on Platinum Follow-Up Systems Library. ID 957 here says CP Millionaire Agent Powered by C Inc. Script. ID 957 Commissions Inc. Follow up script, CP version. You guys see that? Okay, link it up there for a moment. Okay, so what's the difference between this script and this script? Uh, where's it at? Follow up script. Okay, so again, dashboard follow up script. So, what are the difference between that script and this one? And the answer is, Nothing. <laughs> uh, I should be more honest. There's a few things that are different. Okay, so let's deal with that. What you're looking at right here is what Craig Proctor coined the universal callback script. It's not called, listen, it's not called the legal callback script. It's called the universal callback script. That means it can be universally applied but it only works for our members, people like you that are involved in our system. And make no mistake about it, you are involved, you have bought, or you're part of a team that has bought a system, virtually a millionaire agent business franchise system. That's what's been bought. And it does not work 
without the coaching. It doesn't work. And I'm pointing out to you why. If you were to use this callback script on those leads, well, just look, just look at this, okay? Uh, hey, is Mr. Smith there? Great. Hey, Mr. Smith, this is Todd Walters with Todd Walters Real Estate. And the reason I'm calling is because I received your request for the information you wanted, and I've popped that in the mail to you. Is that okay? So, well, they didn't request information from me, and I'm not mailing them anything. There's nothing to mail. We've been given, we've given them access. So when we say this is the universal follow-up script, we mean it's universally applied. So you obviously, obviously will modify some of the words, okay, so that, you know, we're talking in the right context. That's all. Okay, so let's take a look at the callback trip. So if I pull up that in the library there, file library, Commission Z follow-up script, CP version, this is it. This is what you will download right here. Okay. All right. There's new leads and then there's older leads, right? And that's what you have. Okay. There's new leads talking to for the first time. And there's people that you talked to a long time ago or quite a while ago. Okay. So here's what's different. Okay. The words when we start and the offer has a little bit of twist to it. Okay, but not much. Okay, there's two things that we know is happening. Number one, the guy's looking for property online. They're likely to make a move. Okay, number two, probably earlier in the process of buying, not expecting our call. That's it. So those things we know when we're calling back these leads, right? So when you call the lead, okay, then you've got to make sure that you're approaching the lead from that position, okay, and the script does that. The call, this universal follow-up script does it, okay, and that's what we need to stick to. Now, let's talk real quickly about why uh, we're really big on scripting, and that's why, and everybody listen, the reason there's scripts is because we know what to expect. It's a system. A system will give you a predictable result. Um, I've heard trainers, tell some of you that don't have a script. Wing it. What's natural? What feels good? Have a conversation with the prospect. Okay, well look it. I've made, Craig Proctor has made, and the other people that we've taught and given the system to, uh, many, have made millions and millions and millions of dollars. The people that are telling you these things, they have not. They have not done that. Not even close nor have they helped other people make millions and millions of dollars a year selling real estate. They haven't done it. So you can choose to listen to who you want to, but I'm reminding you that you're on a team or you are a team that have bought, okay, the creme de la creme of real estate business operating franchises, millionaire agent business system. You've got it. Okay. So I don't need to sell you on it. I just want to point out that you are going to be told a lot of things by a lot of different people. I would listen to Craig Proctor. I would listen to me, uh, and I would listen to our coaches in our program that have been trained by us. And uh, that, I think you're probably going to be okay there. Okay, they're in the trenches doing it. Made high six figure, seven figure incomes, helping a lot of other people do that. That's a pretty safe bet, would you say? Okay. So scripting allows you to predict the outcome. It's not meant for you to sound like a robot. It's not meant for you to sound unnatural on any level. Okay, but there are some business principles that we know. Because we're, um, again, I've done over a billion dollars in sales. Craig Proctor, even more than that. Okay. We know there's certain business principles that you have to apply to conversations in marketing. And make no mistake about it, this is marketing, man. Um, there are business principles. Like, number one, who are you and why are you bothering me when a stranger calls? Who are you and why are you bothering me? You have to answer that question up front in clear place and language. And to get them to follow along with you, you have to leverage God's law of reciprocity. Okay, you give them something, give you something back. That's how this works, okay? Business principles, man, universal principles. Okay, now, the other side of that is 
is that a script is born or developed as a result of how you do things. Okay, so let's stop there. Okay, on this callback script, for example, on the seller side, you, most of you, people that have been in the business for a, a while, have a system when working with sellers. Okay, and that is, I meet with the seller, I share with them and show them what we can do to sell their home for the most amount of money in their time frame and with the least hassle. And then I close on convincing them to work with me over and above anybody else or any other option exclusively and list the house. You have a system. So because that's your process or your method for working with sellers, you have a script that leads to that. So for example, a script that leads to me meeting with the seller would be making them an offer of something that will benefit them. Like hey, over the telephone, I can't say, hey seller, can we get together so I can list your house? You wouldn't do that, all right? You would step into the process. Hey seller, would you like uh, to get an idea of what you can expect to sell your home for? Okay, as well as maybe some tips on what to do and more importantly what not to do to get the most amount of money when you get ready to sell it, even a breakdown of all the costs that you'll have. So you know how much you have left in your pocket at closing. Does that sell like something that would help you? And they say yes to that, you close, you close, book your appointment, and when you show up, then you ease into again, you have a script, you have a dial, you have a plan into your listing presentation. But the offer, which is the script, was developed as a result of how we do things. So let's flip it over to the buyer side, okay? Our buyer offer on the callback script is a direct result of our system, our process and method for working with buyers, okay? So what is that process and method? We meet with buyers face-to-face -face prior to going and showing them houses at random. We meet with them face-to-face. -face. We show them all of the great things that we can do for them to help them get the best home at the best price with the least hassle over and above any other agent or what they can do on their own. That's called our buyer benefits presentation. They give it a thumbs up. We close on getting them to sign an agreement which, allow, which allows us to set our fee. So no matter what home they want to go buy, okay, whether it's on the market or off the market, we can help them find it. So let's stop there. The reason most real estate agents don't have a script or the reason a lot of sales trainers will tell you wing it or whatever their concept is, is because they don't have a method or process for working with buyers in terms of sitting down and ensuring or guaranteeing that you get your fee. The reason to get buyer agreement signed is to get paid. Okay, understand this. If your method or system for working with buyers is to send them houses that are only in the MLS and then only the ones that you make a, an acceptable commission on, then you're out of business. Buyers will run from you because you're limiting their selection. Okay? If that's your method and system, just understand that's why you don't have more buyers. As a side note, a lot of real estate agents believe, they believe that if they sit down with buyers and walk them into signing a buyer agreement where they set their fee, a lot of agents believe they get less buyers. But the opposite is true. The opposite is true. So I want you to think about that. What would a buyer say if they knew the truth about some of you? If they knew the truth about some of you, what would a buyer do? If they knew that the truth is that you find homes in the MLS and you only show them homes that are in the MLS and then only the ones that have an acceptable commission for you, what would a buyer do if they knew that's how, the, that's how you played the game? Right. You already know what they would do. This is why buyers aren't beating down your door to come and work for you because they believe that's what you do. And for many of you watching today's webinar, you do that. The majority of you do not, but some of you do. Don't do that. If you meet with a buyer 
and we get a buyer agreement signed that sets our fee. That's part of our VIP buyer system, by the way. Here's what that does. That allows me, that empowers me to show anything, to present anything to the buyer, a for sale by owner, an expired listing, a canceled listing, a home that is not on the market for sale, okay? A listing in the MLS where the commission is $500 to the buyer's agent. A listing in MLS where the commission is 1% to the buyer's agent. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that you get to ignore what's being offered up as a commission rate and just go find a house for the buyer. So in other words, I get them access to everything. So who would a buyer rather do business with? The agent that limits their selection or the one that has access to everything? And we'll go find a form. That's right. So the script that you're looking at is born as a direct result of how we show you and give you and teach all of you to work with buyers. The VIP buyer system, which allows benefit presentation, getting a buyer to sign a buyer agreement, setting our fee, and then we know how to go ahead and negotiate and collect our fee when it comes time. If there is a deficiency, a difference between what our fee is and what the seller is offering. We know how to do those things as part of the VIP buyer system. And if you don't, you're watching this webinar, then you need to find out. Okay, there is a, a webinar about that. You will find in libraries, file library, webinar library. If you go to webinar library, um, you can find the Platinum VIP buyer system, okay, which deals more in depth with that setting, negotiating, and collecting your fee, okay? So I want to give you just a little bit of history there on the script and why it's important, okay? But I'm just telling you guys, you cannot, if you're the team leader, listen really closely. It's impossible, let me repeat, it's impossible. Let me say it one more time. It's impossible to grow a real estate sales team or build a real estate sales team hiring buyers agents, outside sales agents, impossible to do any of that. If your method of doing business is to go find homes that are for sale in the MLS, okay, working with buyers, it's impossible because the commission that's in MLS is not enough money. It's not enough money um, for you to provide service enough to buyers to get a bunch of them to do business with you, okay, and to hire people to handle the overflow of business that you get. You're going to have to set a fee, an optimum fee. So can't grow a team without it. This is why you have, people have problems right now. So anyway, and it's trending uh, even more so. So I think I've done a pretty good job of explaining that and uh, getting everybody bought into that and getting historical up to, his, right, historically speaking, up to the point that I want to get you guys at, which is the leads coming in from this system, okay? We have our follow-up script. And we have commissions in callback script. They're the same thing. Just with, I'm just showing you how to change the words in the script so that you're doing it the right way. Okay. So let's see if I can, matter of fact, let's see if I can pull that off. Hang on one second. I'm going to put these side by side. I just, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world here with technology. Uh, but I, I think I can uh, figure out how to do that. You'll just have to uh, give me a minute and let me. Uh... Oh, yes. Look at that. Holy crap, it works. Okay. Can you guys see that? All right. Man, webinars are cool. I've been doing them for a long time. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at it, okay? Over here, buyer, let me see if I can draw on stuff without it messing up. Yes, buyer follow-up call, new lead from your commission Z. It's the same thing, right? Hello, Mr. Smith. This is Todd Walters with Todd Walters Real Estate. Okay, let me stop there. I've heard some sales trainers say, don't tell them you're a real estate agent. Okay, well, that's, I'm just not into that. You know, if you got to run from your label, it's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. 
So I, I, the reason people would tell you that is because they have really poor language in the scripting, really poor. Like you have to trick people into having a conversation with you on the phone. It doesn't work that way. There's a universal law. I like to call it God's law of reciprocity. And it works like you see right here on the screen. Um, hey, Mr. Smith, this is Todd Walters with Todd Walters Real Estate. And the reason I'm calling is I received your request to search for homes online. I'm sorry. The reason I'm calling is I received your request to search for homes for sale online using our property search site at housesatlanta.net. And as a courtesy, just wanted to let you know that you now have full access to search your way. Is that okay? Okay, so it's the same script as right here. Okay. Hey, I the reason I'm calling is, who are you and why are you bothering me? This is Todd with Todd Walters Real Estate. It's my property search site that you wanted to use. And you can use it. Right? That's, that's kind of it. So on the left over here, hi, my name's Todd. We received your request for something. We've fulfilled the request. Is that okay? That's how it works. We received your request for something. We fulfilled the request. Is that okay? As a courtesy, I wanted to let you know. Is that okay? We received your request for something. As a courtesy, we've given it to you. Okay? Or we've given it to you. And as a courtesy, I wanted to make sure that was okay. So everybody see that? Great. Well, that's how you use the universal follow-up script to call back the leads that you're getting from your property search site. So one more time, right over here. Hey, is Mr. Smith there? Hey, Mr. Smith, this is Todd Walters with Todd Walters Real Estate. And the reason I'm calling is I, rec um, I received your request to search for homes for sale online using our property search site at housesatlanta.net. And just as a courtesy, I wanted to let you know that um, we've given you full access there to search away. Uh, is that okay? Okay, now let's stop there and let's throw out a couple of things. Buyer says, um, yeah, thanks. Okay, well then just move into the script, okay? Buyer says, uh, I don't have a I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. And so you just repeat it. Well, um, I, received, I got an email here that says uh, you uh, wanted to use our property search site, which is online, housesatlanta.net. And, uh, and all I'm doing is just as a courtesy, just letting you know we received that. So um, are you planning on making a move in the next three to six months? So I try to verify that he's even a buyer. Because it's possible that somebody used somebody else's information, right? Okay. So, well, are you folks planning on making a move in the next three to six months? And that will get it out of the way. No, we're, we're not moving at all. We're not looking for a house. Okay, thank you. And so you're done with that call. You go to the next. All right, so uh, let's look at another comment before we move further. Buyer says, uh, well, yeah I, I, yeah, I did that, but I didn't know a real estate agent was going to be calling me. I didn't know this was a Realtors website. You guys ever heard that one? So what do you say? Right. You say really nothing. You say, yes. Are you folks planning on making a move in the next three to six months? That's it. The last thing you do is say, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Why would you be sorry? I mean, think about what's happening here. You got a prospect who's going to the internet and typing stuff into search bars, lands on your site, starts filling out stuff, looking at property. I mean, that's some hoops to jump through. So the guy's pretty serious about it. There's nothing to apologize for. You're providing them with a very valuable service. So you just approach it that way, uh, which is yes. Are you folks planning on making a move in the next three to six months? Everybody get that? So let's let's start from there. Hello, this is Todd Walters with Todd Walters Real Estate, and the reason I'm calling is I received your request to search for homes uh, online using our property search site at housesatlanta.net. And as a courtesy, I just wanted to let you know that um, we've given you full access to search away. Is that okay? Okay. Um, well, I didn't know a real estate agent was going to be calling me. Um, uh, yep. 
Are you folks planning on making a move in the next three to six months? Okay, so you got it. All right, so that's the intro. Who are you? Why are you bothering me? Okay, so we deal with that. Okay, here's who I am and here's why I'm bothering you. You requested something. We fulfilled the request and I wanted to make sure that was okay. That's the outline. So we take care of all of the universal business principles with that. It's very disarming and you're good to go. And there's no smoke and mirrors. Good. I knew you guys would like that. Okay. So let me um, erase my property drawings here. <laughs> property drawing. And let me uh, stick with my highlighter. Okay. Ah, you know what? I want to erase that too. So hang on here. All right. Here we go. Let me go back to my highlighter. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go down to the offer. Okay. So let's pull up the offer. And let's, uh, let me grab my highlighter. Okay. So here's the offer. That's the offer. Here's the offer. This stuff down here. Okay. Got to be really careful. Let's talk about this. The strategy is to make them an offer of something very compelling that they say yes to. And when they say yes to your offer, then you close for a face-to-face -face appointment. Okay, so let's back up. They say yes to your offer, then after they say yes, you close for an appointment. Now, the reason you don't want to commingle the two things together is real simple. You won't know what they object to if there's an objection. Are they objecting to your offer or are they objecting to your clothes getting together? Which one? So be really careful. So don't commingle. Get them to say yes to the offer. So it goes like this. Would you like for me to email you daily updates of homes that match your home buying criteria from all the real estate companies? Uh, our list even includes bank foreclosures, company-owned homes, other distress sales. Uh, properties that are either not available or very difficult to find on the internet. So uh, this is a free service. You're not obligated to buy. Would, would that interest you? Offer. That's the offer. Okay. So what are the differences between the follow-up script and this script? And the answer is not really anything. We do two things, though. So I'm going to erase my drawings. We do two things here. We emphasize all real estate companies. Okay, it's there. Let's put a little emphasis on it. So we want to create doubt that they're not getting access to everything, and they're not. Okay, so let's, oh, let's, let's clear that up. Uh, you have to know that the buyer is not getting access to all the homes for sale. They're just not. Uh, real estate agents who make mistakes when entering listings in MLS, they're only getting the ones that match that criteria that are not mistakes. And, and some of them they are getting, they're not interested in buying. So obviously they're not getting all the homes that match their home buying criteria. So they're not getting, not getting for sale by owners, okay, that are not on the market for sale. They're not getting agents listings that have not been put in MLS correctly. There's a lot of homes that they're not getting, man, that are available for sale. So you want to create some doubt about that, and that's what this script does. So we do it there, okay, with all, and we do it here, okay. We just make a distinction that since they're looking at homes online, surely you know that you're not, there are homes that you can't find for sale online. There are homes that exist that are not online. And buyers know this. They know this. That's why they drive around. Go back, look on the computer, drive around, go back, look on the They know this. So when you offer this to them, it's a great benefit. So understand that the offer over here does that. Okay. When you offer getting property updates emailed over uh, from all the real estate companies, as well as bank foreclosures, company-owned properties, and other distress sales. When you mention that, then it, they have a belief system that it's something that they're missing out on or not getting now. You have something that they're not getting. So 
But to make it easier on you, this is a universal follow-up script. So we just, since they're looking for homes online, we just simply remind them with a couple of words that there are a lot of properties that they're not getting, that are not available online, that they're probably missing. And this goes back to how you do business as, a, as, a, as their buyer's agent, part of, the, part of our, the millionaire agent system, VIP buyer system is we go find houses for buyers. It doesn't matter whether they're listed in MLS or not. We find homes from everywhere. We call the buyer up. I've got a couple of houses to show you. Okay. So there, my friends, are the differences between the universal follow-up script and the commission zinc script. And the differences are, there's not any. Okay. Now, uh, there's plan, your plan to do something, there's system, and then there's our help, our coaching that helps you implement both plan and system. Okay, that's all there really is. There's plan and there's system. So uh, understand, uh, very, 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 very great businesses operate this way. Operate this way. You have a plan and you have a system to ensure predictable results. And that's what you're getting right here uh, with this. Okay. So um, now let me sidestep this for just a second and let me talk about the universal follow-up script and how to commit this to memory, okay? So if you're brand new here or whether you're a veteran actually and you're going to be helping other people, there are four offers, okay? There's the buy first offer, there's the sell first offer, okay? There's the newsletter offer, and there's the follow back up offer. You have four. This offer is actually broken down into two, so, but I call it one. Four offers. So as you're memorizing this script, you want to memorize the offers first. <clears throat> okay? Memorize the offers first. Here's why. You can mess up a lot of things as someone who calls back leads. You can mess up a boatload of stuff. But man, you cannot, you cannot mess up the offers. Without the offer, there's no appointment. Okay. Now remember how most agents operate outside of our program and even the people that you may have met that use a Commission Zinc platform, they don't use CP Millionaire Agent, okay, because it's only available to you, Platinum Program members. But they may use a, a regular um, Commission Zinc platform, okay? So uh, Commission Zinc does some training from time to time. So you may be on the phone with somebody. So remember how people operate. They don't operate like you. You operate above the fray. So if you happen to find yourself in the middle of a training session with people that are not using your same system, it's like being a McDonald's franchisee and you're engaged in some training with people that have all kinds of um, different ways of selling hamburgers. Okay. McDonald's method is superior to all others. Okay. So of course, if you're listening to others, it's and you applied those ways of doing it your method for selling hamburgers would go down because you're at the top of the pyramid, right? So uh, it's just the way it is. The way most real estate agents do business, as you guys know, is their method for working with buyers is to do this, okay? They call the buyer up. So let's, let's look at, let me erase my drawings. Okay, let me get my uh, clicker back here, okay? Their method for working with buyers is this okay don't do this but this is how they do it. hey buyer this is Todd Walters and I'm calling with housesatlanta.net so they don't even say that they're you know a real estate professional I'm calling with housesatlanta.net and um, I noticed that you were using our property search site to look for homes and look at homes online I just wanted to see how your search was going yeah so uh, what kind of house are you looking for? Can I email you more homes that you're not going to buy? <laughs> I mean, that's really the conversation because that's how they do things. It becomes an email fest. I love an email fest. I'm going to email you more homes that you're not going to go buy. So th that's, that's not how this works. Look, dude, 
if they, they they haven't found the home they're looking for, if they had, they would already bought it. Okay. So you have the lead now. You have the lead. You don't need to keep regenerating the lead. You have the lead. They're, you have everything. They're your lead. So now the process is I need to meet with this prospect. And you don't want to do what all other agents do, and that's just be a tech. Can I show you some houses? Have you seen anything you want to go see? Okay, that's just whew, makes me shiver to think that any of you would be having those conversations. All right. So anyway, stick to the script and, and you'll be golden. But there are four offers. I pointed them out to you. Memorize those offers first. You commit those offers to memory. You are golden. Absolutely golden. Okay. All right. Let's go back to our uh, uh, CP Millionaire Agent powered by Commission Zinc script. Okay. And I, I was reluctant to do this because I don't want to give people the impression there is a different script. No, there are a few different words that you use in the script. It's the same script, universal follow-up script. Okay. It's the same. You just change a few words around and you're good to go. Okay. So older prospects, a lead you talked to three months ago. You're following back up with them, right? Hey, Mr. Smith, this is Todd Walters uh, with Todd Walters Real Estate. And the reason I'm calling is that I received your request to search for homes online using our property search site at housesatlanta.net not too awful long ago. And as a courtesy, I just want to follow up and see if you guys have bought a home yet. That's it. And then you move into the follow-up script. All right, so here's how this works, guys. If you cannot get good at calling back the leads and converting those leads to face-to-face -face appointments, you're just going to it's going to suck. It's just going to suck for you. I'm just telling you. I know you guys are really good at getting referrals, okay, and turning those into appointments. I, I get that. I know you're pretty good at taking sign calls and meeting with those people, okay. I know you're really good at getting to come list me. Hey, I want to talk to you about selling my house. Hey, I'm calling about this guarantee, you know, your home sold or I'll buy it. Or I'm calling and says you'll buy my home if it doesn't sell. I know you're good at all that stuff, okay. But if you really want to sell a lot of homes, you got to get really, really good at, at converting leads that are not expecting your call, but they are interested in making a move. And that's what this is. You can just hit grand slams and home runs. And obviously I'm really good at it, but understand this is my, I don't know, 25th, 30 years. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, holy crap. It's uh, 28 years. Okay, that's a long freaking time <laughs> to be making these calls. So, uh, so yeah, I'm really good at it. And I've taught a lot of other people along the way. Okay, but I learned from the best, man. I learned from the best, Mr. Craig Proctor. Okay, and you know you don't mistake about it. He was the best. So, we talk about this regularly. Our job is to help you do this. And I hope that I've done a good job of day, today of helping you understand the universal follow-up script, the Commission Inc. callback script. Okay. And how to go about this thing, but we got to get good at it. All right. So a couple of additional points on it that I want on the record. Okay. There's all these questions over here. Do you ask every single question? And the answer is maybe, maybe not. Okay. At some point you got to get wise to what's happening. For example, are you folks planning on making a move in the next three to six months? And if the answer is yes, or we think so, in other words, leaning yes, okay, well, then you don't need to say, you don't need to ask this question, okay? So if you were to move, when do you think that might be? Like they just told you, I'm pretty sure I'm moving in the next three to six months. So you don't need to ask that question. Go on, okay? Um, are you folks planning on making a move in the next three to six months? Yeah, uh, we think so. You don't need to ask this question. Are you planning on staying in the area and moving away? So these two questions are in here for people that are wishy-washy because your job, listen really close, your job is to get these prospects into one of two categories, and there are only two, less than six months, longer than six months. You guys see that right here? 
less than six months, longer than six months. The only two categories. People that are less than six months. Okay, so let me give you an example. Okay, people that, uh, are you planning on making a move in the next three to six months? We're not really sure. Okay, well, were you folks planning on staying in the area or moving away? Oh, no, we would stay in the area. Okay, so if you were to move, when do you think that might be? Probably April. Okay, so you run the numbers and it's like less than six months. Okay, and then you make your offer. Longer than six months? Right here for longer term prospects. Okay. Making a move in longer than six months. Would you like to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you in touch with what's happening in the marketplace? Uh, sure. Okay, well, would it be okay if I followed up with you at a later time? Sure. Well, when's a good time for me to call you back? Okay, so pretty simple. Let me drill down on that even more. Like I'm looking at this thing, you know, at an angle or something. So, um, are you folks planning on making a move next three to six months? No. Well, are you planning on staying in the area or moving away? Uh, we would, we'd be, we're moving out of the area. Okay. Uh, so, if you were to move, when do you think that might be? Well, probably, you know, uh, April. Okay. Well, run the numbers less than six months, hypothetically here. Well, would you like to receive my free monthly newsletter to keep you in touch with what's happening in the marketplace? Okay. Now, obviously, I'm only making that offer to someone who's moving out of the area if they have a house to sell in the area. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> okay. Market March newsletter offer? Yes. Okay. So before I offer this, I want to leverage. Listen really close. This is a success clue. I want to leverage the Market Watch newsletter to get contact information. So if I'm missing an email address or I'm missing a, a, a mailing address, I want to leverage the newsletter to get it. So it goes like this. Would you like to receive my free monthly newsletter to keep you in touch with what's happening in the marketplace? Prospect says yes. Okay, can I get your, uh, your address? Now, I'm not telling them I'm mailing it, but I want their address. Okay, can I get your address? And they give it to me if I'm missing it. Now, if I have their email address and I have their address, then I just verify the information. Okay, let me verify your uh, your uh, your information here. Your email address is, okay, your mailing address is, and I have your phone number is. Okay, hey, would it be okay if I followed up with you at a later time uh, to see how things are going? Sure. Okay, well, when would, when would be a good time for me to do that? That's how that works. Okay, now there's plenty of training on this. We have a weekly role play clinic as well every week. Uh, for you, I suggest you get on it. Okay, so so there you go. We're going to call this good introduction to you, you know using your CP Millionaire Agent system, the one part of it that comes from your online lead generation through your property search site. Okay, property search site. So that is how these this script works: new lead, old lead, introduction, and the offer. I think we did a good job of covering some ground, man. So look, there's a lot of questions here. No problem. We're going to follow back up with you guys uh, on those questions since we're out of time. And I'm going to record I've recorded this webinar. It's in the can. And we're going to make this available for historical purposes and uh, leveraging in the future. We'll make it a training webinar for new inside sales agents, for example. And uh, it'll work great. So look, man, I just want to thank you guys for uh, uh, being a part of our program. And uh, I just hope that you're just making all kinds of money, selling a lot of homes, really enjoying your life. So if you need some extra help here, uh, then we'll give it to you. Just have to ask. If you need some extra help here, just ask. Let your coach know. We'll jump in there and, and do what we can to improve your business. Okay? All right, so with that, uh, I'll let you guys get back to work. Let's go sell some houses. Take care.